Hello creatives and welcome to day 14 of our listen and share series for the month of July. My name is Giselle. I hope you're doing well and wherever you find yourself at whatever part of the world at whatever time, I hope that it's been a really, really great day or it will be a really, really great day or is a really, really great day. Our message for today is all about asking for apologies and owning up, <laughs> owning up when we've fallen short. The interesting thing about this is it's not necessarily asking someone else for an apology, someone that we've done wrong or we've behaved in a way that wasn't to our highest reflection. Um, if, if you need to do that, then go ahead and take care of your business. Like just, just get that out of the way. However, this is specifically asking for an apology of yourself, for yourself, looking at yourself in the mirror and being like, I'm sorry please forgive me, like I messed up. This, um, I really had to confront this. I'm, I'm in this process, in this season where I'm getting ready to go into another season, another season of study, another season of training. And if you don't have someone that you can look up to, someone who is a mentor, someone who can guide you to the next stage of your life, I invite you, I encourage you to find someone. If you, if it's me or through courses or working with me one-on-one, -on -one, if it's someone else, if it is a mentor, if it is a spiritual mentor, if it is a business mentor, if it is a life coach, if it is therapy, whatever, whoever, find someone to get you to that next stage. So I am in the process of beginning a new season um, of development for myself. And I had to, before stepping over this threshold, I had to be really real with myself and recognize that there were fears, not necessarily fears, but hesitations because of ways that I did not show up for myself in the past. Plenty of ways where I did, but there are some ways where I did not show up for myself. And I had to be honest with that. And so speaking to myself, because we all do it, let's just be real. Speaking to myself, I had to allow my spirit to say, I don't feel really confident that you will complete or show up the way that I know that you can. And I had to agree with that. I had to be real with myself and look at the ways that I either said, okay, I'm gonna do this and then didn't do it, or I'm gonna do this and then only showed up halfway, partial way, or I'm gonna do this and then allowed external factors to diminish my joy, diminish my confidence, diminish my energy moving forward. I am going to do this. Yes, this is for me. And then when it started to get difficult or when there were mind gremlins, as I say often, or there were people who didn't respond in the way that I wanted them to, then I took that as a sign that there was something wrong with me, that I wasn't good for this, and maybe I'm in the wrong place completely um, without really stopping to take the time and the due diligence of, of seeking inward wisdom and inward guidance a seeking guidance from god from my creator from my source from the one who knows me best of all um i didn't necessarily do that i just fell back into this habit of maybe there is something wrong with me that that thumb kept pointing towards me and so because of that although even in the midst of that there were still lessons that i learned from those seasons so nothing was wasted there was just some steps or I didn't get as far as I thought that I wanted or I thought that I could. And so embarking upon this new season, I had to clear that out. I had to address it. I had to apologize to myself and be like, you're right. There were ways and times that I didn't show up. And some of it is legitimate. Like I was afraid, I, I tried, I was afraid, but then I fell back into the habits of the old Giselle and I didn't give us the fair chance. And then there were times that I just didn't know. And so for those times I give myself grace, yet I still feel the hesitation and maybe the pain and the disappointment, even in this moment, as we're stepping on a new precipice, I feel that because of what happened in the past. And so because it's still here, it's time to address it and not beat myself up over it, not fall into shame and embarrassment and disgrace 
and grief to the point where it doesn't allow me to move forward. But it's time to sit, acknowledge it, own it, and ask for forgiveness for myself, from myself. So I don't know if this is ringing true for you, but as a being, as, as someone who is dedicated to growing and getting stronger and getting going to a higher level and a higher level and a higher level, not just for ourselves, but maybe for our families, maybe for our communities, maybe for those that we're here and meant to, to serve and to share and to bless. Because we're all connected, we are all one. So what it impacts us has ripple effects like when you take a pebble no matter how big or how small you throw that pebble into an ocean a lake of water there are ripple effects whether you can see them with your natural eye whether you can hear them with your natural ear or not there are always ripple effects so wherever you find yourself as a creative love you can be the greatest creative in the world but if there are things blocking you from taking the next step on your journey, all of that creation will be not. Someone said, and I'm, I'm totally paraphrasing, and I don't know who originally said this, but the richest place on the earth is the graveyard. All of those ideas, all of those solutions to problems that we're facing, we are brilliant beings. But if we don't get it out, if we don't share it, if we don't apologize to ourselves for the times when we are afraid, for the times when we, when we don't go as far as we said we would, or maybe even for the times when we've set this goal so much bigger than reality. <laughs> like we just, the goal was just way too big. And now you're upset and now you're angry with yourself and now you are holding yourself back because that goal was just way too big. Man, I've done that. Jeesh, I've done that. And now I got to clean that up because I'm taking it as I am not good enough. I have not kept my word when in reality, it was just way too big. It was unrealistic. So I encourage you today, consider are there areas in my life where I desire to go to the next stage? It is time to go to the next stage, but perhaps there is some hesitation. Perhaps there's some stuff that I need to clean up. Perhaps there are places where I need to apologize to myself, either for making that goal way too darn big, setting myself up to fail, falling into fear, falling into past habits, being so focused on the voices around me instead of the voice within me, sheesh. If that's the case, take a moment, find a mirror somewhere, get your camera, look at yourself in the eyes and apologize, it's time. It's time to move forward. So it's time to clean some stuff up. If this resonated with you, give me a thumbs up, give me a heart, give me some emoji in the comments below. Share this, like it, subscribe, and, and join us. Until next time, hmm, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.